Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video I want to share with you how I play the opening solo to Black Magic Woman as recorded by Santana on guitar. Now this song has some iconic guitar playing in it, and there's some great licks that you can steal and add to your solos. So let's get straight into it. The song kicks off with just this little pull off. Here it goes. This little line starts out on the eighth fret and you play that note and then quickly pull off to the sixth fret. And then you play from seven on the third string, slide up to nine and then come back down to seven. So those two licks together go. Then we do the same thing again, but instead of just a pull off, we're going to actually do a hammer pull off, which is six, hammer to eight, and then quickly pull off back to six. And then we go. Just a little variation. I love that there. That's the eighth fret of the second string. Then slide up seven to nine and then back to seven, just like before. So, so far it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's the opening part, and I'm gonna break down the rest of this note for note. But before we go any further, if you're new to the channel, I've got a gift for you that's really gonna help you out with your solos and learning to play along with your favorite recordings. And what it is is my fretboard guide. And on it, I show you the five must-know chords and scales to map out your entire fretboard. And these are scales that are gonna line right up with songs like this. In fact, these little patterns that we're playing fit right into very common scale patterns. And I wanna share this with you and give this to you completely for free. All you gotta do is go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide, or you can click the first link down below and download it as my gift to you. All right, so from there, we go into these octaves and we play this. <laughs> Now here I'm using a technique called hybrid picking where I combine the pick with also my middle finger plucking another note to get them to be plucked at the same time. So I'm playing seven on the fourth string and then 10 on the second string. That's an octave there. We're gonna go bring it down two frets there. Then go to the eighth fret of the fifth string and the 10th fret of the third string. That's another octave shape. We'll play that and then slide it down one fret to seven and nine. So we've got one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. Then we go back to five and eight here and play seven and nine, slide down to five and seven. So. And this goes again. Then I move up to a D minor chord here. Just at the 10th fret, this is 10, 12, 12, 10, 10. Just a typical minor bar chord there. Now here I play eighth notes starting on the and of one and I arpeggiate through the string. So one and two and three and four and then on the last eighth note, I come back up. So it goes all the strings, six all the way down to one and then comes back up to the second string. So one and two and three and four and and then the band hits a break and we go into this classic riff. And this is so iconic here. You play the 10th fret of the first string, 
13th fret of the second string, then you bend it up, bring it down. So it's like a pre-bend. Pull off to 10, then go back up to 13 and bend it, hold it, and then fall off again, pulling off to the 10th fret. So there's a lot of bends and then falling off, pre-bends, lots of techniques in there. Together it sounds like this. And that's all coming out of your D minor pentatonic scale, which you can find on the fretboard guide. So basically you're working those patterns, but instead of playing the scale, you're turning it into a melody. Okay, then the next let goes. And this is really tasty here. We bend up the 13th fret of the second string, then play 10 on the first string, 13, pull off to 10 on the second string, 12, and then a pre-bend. Bring it down, pull off to 10, slide to nine. And that's, the band goes from D minor to A minor there, and he goes. It's matching the chord there. Then we go. More D minor pentatonic, but with a little note added here, we're gonna play 10 on the second string, 13, then 12, hammer to 13 on the first string. Then play 12. Then a double pull off here from 13 to 12 to 10 on the first string. Okay, then we're gonna do some more bends here. 13th fret, bend it up, bring it down, bring it back up. So. And then it falls down, pulls off to 10. So backing up just a little bit, three, four, one. All right, from there we bend the 13th fret, second string, then play 10 on the first string, 13 pull off to 10, and then a bend on 12 on the third string, bend it up, bring it down, and pull off to 10. So, then we walk up. This is like a G minor here. This is 12 on the third string, 11 on the second string, 10 on the first string. Then you walk up 12, 13 on the first string, then pluck it again and bend. So, then go. This is a blues lick here, 15 bend on the first string. Bring it up, bring it back down, pull off to 13, 15 on the second string, back to 13 on the first string, like this. Then we go all the way up to the 17th fret, bend that up, actually a step and a half. This is a big bend here. Okay, so one and two and three and four. Then we've got this walk down. So we come off of that 17th fret, bending all the way up a step and a half, we kind of fall off, and then we come back down to 10 on the first string, and then we go. Okay, that's bending. 12 on the third string, bring it up, bring it down. Pull off to 10. 
then 12 on the third string, 10 on the second string, and then that's 12, and then a quick hammer pull off, just like the intro, right? But here we're on the 10th fret of the third string, hammer to 12, then go 12, 10 on the fourth string. So it's that measure. Then from there, we descend down the blues scale and go, and that's 12, 10 on the fourth string. Then go to the fifth string, 12, 11, 10, slide to eight. 10 on the low E string. So one and two and three and four and. and then it ends with just like a D minor chord here. You could play it on the top four strings. 12, 10, 10, 10. And you just slide into it like and kind of fall off. So the last lick sounds like this. Three and four. All right, next I'm gonna put all these licks together so you can hear what it sounds like in context from the top. Here we go. One, two, three, four. To the octaves. So steal some of those licks and add them to your soloing vocabulary. And to help you work this out anywhere on the neck and be able to jam along with your favorite recordings or play your own guitar solos like this, grab my free fretboard guide PDF. There's a link down below or you can just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide. And this is gonna give you a complete framework for combining together chords, scales, and arpeggios anywhere on the neck, and it's completely for free. Again, just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide, or click the first link down below as my gift to you. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and for more Santana, check out this video next.